I hear one prophecy today. <laughs> when, when, when you give me deja vu, right? It took me back. I made me remember a prophecy that somebody made about me once. I'm one pastor, make one witchcraft prophecy about me. But before I talk about my own, let me first of all play this lady's own. And this was a prophecy that was made when she was a child that she was not going to graduate from the university for one or two reasons. Ladies and gentlemen, watch this. I remember being called out by my pastor to the altar in front of congregation. He called me out, me and two other people that we are not going to finish school. I was, I think, 16 or 17 when he called us out and it was like, we are going to get pregnant. We are not going to finish school. Da, 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 da. But I, I remember... <laughs> I remember getting home and I cried. Okay. I mean, I cried. My mom cried. I wasn't even that kind of, that type of child. Like, I'm not that kind of person. And at that time, I was this never, church girl. Never so, you know. But you know when people have their favorites, and it's fine. I got home and I cried. My mom cried. We prayed. Like, this prophecy on my life must not come to pass. Okay. I cried so much. Like parents literally told their children to stop being my friend. Wow. Because of that prophecy. Because they feel like because of that prophecy, I, prophecy, I might, in I might spoil their children. Spoil their children too. Looking back now, with with this. All I just want to say is thank you, Jesus, because <laughs> I can't imagine that prophecy coming to pass. See, having a child is not a bad thing, but I'm, a, I'm this kind of person that I, since when I was young, I wanted to go to school. I wanted to, you know, and my mom was always supporting me. For me to now be called out and be told that we get pregnant without going to that school that my mom wants me to go that I love so much. It means a lot in my life at that point. I just want to say thank you, God, for this. That girl that they say we get pregnant, we not get pregnant too. I'm a graduate now. <sighs> you see, sometimes around 2008 or 09, yeah. Get yeah, one fake pastor with some of my guys believing Femi Edwards. I don't know if you will see this video, if you go remember that issue. So then my guy was doing a beauty pageant, you know. So they come to the girl, the girls at one hotel in Irawo. So me, I go there and I go support my guy. And I saw one of their pastor will come. Apparently, the pastor don't observe me, and don't be a very arrogant person. Start to see vision for me. See my problem now, arrogance, you know. So when you talk that one, everybody believes. <laughs> because people will know me, you know, say, I mean, quite an arrogant person. He said, My problem is arrogance. He said, As I didn't go forward in life, so I will meet one girl with a girl red moto. Say, Two of us will start to love. He said, My not marry the girl. Say, If I marry the girl, say, Now for that Maryland turning for up, now we take you the moto girl accident, you know. He said, Then I will meet another girl with another small moto. Say that first one, red motor, that big girl, you get money, say, I'll meet one who gets more motor. Say that one, go, 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 now go marry. <laughs> As they talk to me, I do my like this, okay? <laughs> when he talk, finish, now I tell my friends, she be like, I don't go gossip, make this man, say, I don't get me that character. <laughs> my guys say, I'm a very useless person. I they see man of God, they give me vision, I say, this mugu, now man of God, this mugu. After that day, I deliberately they wait so that I go toast and get away, get red moto. <laughs> Even red bicycle girlfriend, I don't see. <laughs> if I was a stupid guy, I would convert to a church member. Believe me, say you don't see one vision. Do you know how many people who don't get visa who suppose come on Nigeria pass or see vision for them? Say the Lord say you should stay here. Do you know how many people who don't get one better work when there's more work, but because they require for church. And if you go one bell walk, that position will fake up. Part of see vision for they say the Lord does not want you to do that job. Oh, now do like vision for this country. That they put to that for trouble. So vision, vision, vision. Vision that won't finish you that. Now the new one that device is that. 
Even if the pastor sees a vision, it's possible that the vision will not come to pass. Maybe they pray for a division, or you know, or God can forgive you. But a wicked pastor that saw a type of vision like that was supposed to call the congregation and say, let us pray to avert this thing from happening. But instead, you see which kind of vision needs to get to go, and then there is this stigma on that. So the church members will call themselves brothers in Christ start to give the gay chance. And I'm not saying I'm a brother in Christ. All of them are going to church because they need them. not be any brothers in Christ. All of them are fool and say, say there's one pastor that hears from God more than you is a lie. You are the captain over your life. Whatever you tell God, the Lord is going to give you. The Bible says, ask. And it shall be given unto you. Not go and meet somebody that knows how to ask. So that the person will ask for you. Some of you don't believe that God loves you enough. To listen to you. No matter how much of a sinner you are, once you can sincerely cry out to God, is there to listen to you. You know, get me see you won't see what somebody never seen before. As a matter of fact, at the time when Jesus gave his life for your sins, you are no, you are not even born. You never start the sinning. So just sincerely go to God, ask God for forgiveness and the very things you want, and He will do them for you. All these also last. When they are dreaming that the they could get private jets, what they when they see move vision for that, for that continue to go there, they go call on a money for tight, they go collect their fruits, they go collect your membership, they go collect everything. You become a slave to them if you like. No year word. <laughs>